As chief exerciser in the district of Baalbrash, I, Count Gustav von Helsing, have oft been beleaguered by the ignorance of the peasantry towards the world of darkness. But on July the 18th, 1765, there occurred here an event of such infamy that I deem it necessary to record it herein for future generations to peruse. and heart from whom a fair sleep was stolen. Sleep now in the arbors of the angels.
thou who will die, come to the Lord. Lord! On this day, be ye with your descendants, come until eternity. Think not that ye are rid of me, for I, Vardella, will return. Vardella will return. The fight. Right hold the fight. <laughs> Where the hell are we? The Sophia Bucharest Autobahn, it appears. Well, wake me when the traffic thins out. Oh, Philip, that's not fair. Well, let's have a look. Uh-huh. Yes, you're right. It is the Sophia Bucharest Autobahn. Opening scheduled in 18 months. That'll teach you to underestimate your wife. Oh, I'd never do that, darling. Yes. Oh, there's another place about five miles further on. Are there any hotels there? Oh, Brad, I don't know. There aren't any listed. Well, let's have a look and scout around. I don't think that will be necessary. A lawman cometh. Excuse me. Ah, uh, do you speak English? No, I speak English. Splendid. Uh, I was wondering if you could help us. I believe we know a place called Valbrash. Valbrash? Yes. Oh, could you tell us of an inn there or a hotel? Many first-class hotels in Valbrash. Oh, welcome, American. We're English. Oh. Now, about this hotel. No real prejudice in Valbrash. city of the people, by the people, and for fine, the people. Fine, fine. Now, if you could just tell us the names of a couple of hotels. Hotel Master Best Hotel. Got an inside-outside bathroom. Oh, really? But uh, are there any other hotels? Hotel Master is the only hotel. But you said just now there were a lot of hotels. All the other hotels were closed except for invited guests. Eh? That's right. This year's the annual Waiters Training People's Committee program. Hotel Moscow is the only hotel open. You go Hotel Moscow. Good hotel. You go there. Good night. Good night? This 
place is beginning to make me feel like a fugitive from the lost weekend. Me too. I already see red stars before my eyes. Anyway, let's get on down to watch it. Oh, yes. Yeah. What a strange place. It's all so full of weirdies and werewolves. Terrible line, darling. Great alliteration, but terrible line. What do you think? More or less the same as you. Mm, it'll be another 40 miles from the next town. It'll be getting dark pretty soon. Oh, hello. Here comes the big car. Completes the picture, wouldn't you say? Hello to you. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time for tea. Did he say tea? Yes. Tea and bread. Uh, you be stay the night? I'm afraid we be. <laughs> you stay the night. I say, you do speak good English. No English, just room, food, and tea. You stay the night, but you must be married for to stay the night. If you not be married, you go away, you cannot stay. Well, he's kind to strangers anyway. Yes. I take it you're the manager. I be the owner. In the name of the state, I be the owner. Now take the baggages up to the room, and you find a nice table over there for when I bring the tea. Sounds like the best and best arrangement. Coming, darling? Only for the night. Mm. Uh, do you know the Dracula, by any chance? Ah! Oh. Uh. Nothing, just another old family around this part. Sounds familiar. Um, no, I don't worry. I have to take the baggages in. My, I don't take to this place. What? You mean the innkeeper? Him too, but what about that one over there? I pretend you don't notice. Oh, I can't. It's too late. He has a look in his eye that he wants to talk to somebody. The baggages are in the room. Hey, this is really good English tea. Enjoy yourself. Well. Tea bags are bad enough. They sure are. What did I tell you? Uh, excuse me, but I uh, believe you've dropped your garlic. My what? Garlic, did you say? Indeed, yes. Uh, may I sit down? Naturally. We've been expecting you. I'd like to explain the reason for the garlic cloves. Uh, you seem puzzled by them. Excuse me, uh, what are you exactly? A guide or something? Certainly not. I'm an aristocrat, a count. I always had the idea that was hardly classed as a profession in your, under your country's present regime. The von Helsing family has never dabbled in trade. Von Helsing, did you say? Where have I heard that name? Do you know the Draculas? Know the Draculas? My family exorcised them, drove them from this earth, state their evil tyranny in their very hearts. Von Helsing, that's where I know the name from, of course. Count Von Helsing, if you please. But surely there are no wicked fairies for you to exorcise nowadays. I mean, what do you do for a living? Oh, I manage, I manage. By the way, the heat is much here in Transylvania. You would perhaps... Uh... Oh, yes, of course. Where is that comrade who runs this place? Gropa, Gropa, a bottle of Slivovitz for my friend. As we were saying, there are no vampires left in Transylvania. My family saw to that. But you must remember that Transylvania was once the seat of a great satanic religion for many thousands of years. So, one cannot be too careful, even now. You mean you stay around so that there won't be any new outbreak of sorcery, is that it? Here you are, your ex-lordship. Yes, yes, exactly. The natives wear these things, these garlic clothes, to protect them. Ridiculous, of course. 
still, one cannot possibly be too careful, even now. It takes more than that to discourage the depredations of a strong-willed witch. <laughs> Don't tell me you still believe in witches. Well, now, one can never be absolutely sure. After all, the hand of Satan reached down through many, many centuries. Why should it find its end at the height of this one? Oh, that's a theory, anyway. Let me tell you a story. Oh, don't be alarmed. I'll make it brief. Oh, do, do. Tell on. About 200 years ago, here in Balbrash, there was a wicked witch called Vadella. Really, an evil example as witches go. And the stupid peasantry who lived there tried to exorcise her themselves. Ha! The fool! Without going through the proper channels, you mean? Without waiting for my great-great-grandfather, the Twelfth Count. So, naturally, they fumbled the whole procedure, allowing Vadella to put a curse on the entire village, its inhabitants and their descendants. If they'd only had the patience to wait upon the wisdom of the Twelfth Count, there would exist no danger, no danger at all. And you mean you sit here, waiting for the effects of her curse to take place? Mm -hmm. Phyllis, I'm feeling terribly tired. Oh, I'm sorry. I was getting rather engrossed in this. You will excuse us, Count. We've had a very long and tiring day. Oh, but you must hear the end of the story. Uh, if there is to be an end, and uh, I'd like you to see the library. The library? Yes, the only collection of demonic law left in the whole of Transylvania, since the government outlawed black magic, of course. I'm terribly sorry, Count, but we're really most awfully tired. Oh, well, uh, perhaps you'd uh, use allow me to bring round a few samples tomorrow morning. Uh, say, round about ten. Yes, but noon would be better, thank you. Very well. Noon it is. Fine. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see you then. <clears throat> Put that down! It's paid for. It's on their bill. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Fast taps running blood or something? I almost wish they were. All I got was a two-minute shower and an avalanche of rust. Long live social democracy. It was your idea to have a honeymoon here. Well, the scenery is very beautiful. Including Ladislav Groper, I suppose. Including what? Mine host. His name's on the board outside. He runs the place. God help him, then. He can't do much in the way of business. Oh, I don't know. Transylvania has some pretty weird legends. A lot of people turn up here out of curiosity. And that gives old von Helsing a basis for a solid living, I suppose. Right. Oh, we have a visitor. Here his passport is in order. Have you ever tried knocking, Groper? No need to knock in People's Republic. No citizen has got secrets from brother citizen. No citizen has any privacy either, it appears. Privacy breeds conspiracy. Have a good night's sleep. Thanks very much. I was wondering if you had another room. You don't like this one? No. But Herr Ulbricht slept here on his last visit. Before. Thanks for telling us. That makes us feel much better. Darling, this is the bridal suite. Hmm. Well, maybe it needs a little redecoration, but it's clean. I have a petition into the government for new wallpaper, a new roof, and... You don't suppose a new roof will turn up tonight by any chance? Maybe tonight, maybe two years. They have better things to do than to worry about tourists. wishes on a night like this. Why did you tell von Helsing we would be here all morning when you know we're leaving at dawn? I just didn't want some old nut messing around in our honeymoon. Oh, it is that, is it? You want me to prove it? I want you to prove it. That thing looks as though it may collapse any minute.
Let's risk it. Dressed. We're leaving. Oh, poor lamb. Did you do much to his face? Not enough. Philip. Yes? I don't really feel like getting dressed and leaving at this hour now. Or would you prefer going back to bed and putting on another show for the management? Oh, you wouldn't dare. You might assault him again. Besides, I've taken other precautions. What precautions? Uh, look. Take that stinking oh, thing off. Oh, no. The goblins might get me. Well, that thing round your neck only the goblins that want you. Do you want me? Now what? There's nothing missing here. I know, he must have taken the distributor cap. Well, we'll soon get that back. All right, where is it? <coughs> ah, here it is. Thanks a lot. Grouper. Oh. Have the English couple come out yet? Hmm? Oh. Well, so much for vile bow brush and its lunatics. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was rather strange. So was the play. Oh, Philip, turn back. I've forgotten something. What? My garlic. <laughs> now something's wrong with the blasted steering. Don't tell me about that. Philip! Out of control. 
Drink. I need a drink. On the table, through there. Today is the day I remind you that you owe me a couple of favors. You have to help me to think. Impossible. I can't even think for myself. I've just seen something terrible. Your wife. No, but just now a foreign car went right into the lake. A Volkswagen? No, it was an accident. I mean an Englishman with his beautiful wife. Beautiful. Even mine is better. <laughs> it must have been some accident. <laughs> no jokes. The police will blame me as usual. How did they dead? Only the woman, and the other one's very weak. Too bad. So pretty. Groper, I never understood your taste. I didn't marry your wife. Forget my wife. They're outside in the truck. If we fix up the man, maybe he'll say the accident wasn't my fault. Why should I help him? He cut off my face for the window. Because you have to help me. All right. I want to see him again anyway. Let's take them inside. The police may come along. You're going to get me in trouble. Why would I do that? Can I help it if the police have been looking for a dirty old man who spies on old ladies? No, no. Ooh, even unconscious, he looks arrogant. Don't. He might wake up. You take care of the lady. <laughs> Some lady. Keep them here until I get witnesses to say I was skiing in the Carpathian. But what if they find them here? Say I've gone for the police. And don't touch him. Ah. At least until I'm safe. By the way, why did he beat you up? Were you peeking in his bedroom window or something? Hey, Groper? Because he caught his wife making eyes at me. Remember, neither of us can afford to upset the Commissar. He has an ulcer, which is a lot less painful than what we'll get if we muff this. We? We. Veronica. What have, what have you done with Veronica?
said, what have you done with my wife? Over there. There. Look! I... I don't... I don't know. She was with me in the car. Where is she? I don't know. I swear it. It's true. Uh, that. He brought that out. The truck driver. I what do you mean? Know. My wife was with me in the car. She was right there beside me. Now, what have you done with my wife? What have you done with Veronica? I think I swear it is true. I don't know. What the devil is happening? I've never heard so much. Come on, help me. You've got to help us. We... We had an accident and Veronica was thrown... Is she alive? Did you find her in the car? You? Uh, no. Uh, the truck driver brought them in. It happened in the old road by the lake. Their car waiting. Oh, she's dead, all right. Lake of Badella. This was in the car. Yes. Do you know her? But about Veronica! Yes, indeed, I'm afraid I do know her. Your wife was in the car with you when the crash took place? You're right there beside me. You hadn't sent for the police yet? No, no, no. The truck driver went to get them. He told me it was a better idea than me using the phone. He could explain the details, he said. Oh, that's the last we'll see of him. He could be arrested for being in an accident. He's an honest man, Fritz. He's a friend of mine. That is no criterion of his integrity. But as I say, it's a good thing that the police know nothing at all at this stage. What do you mean the police don't know? She, 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 she may still be in the car. She could be alive somewhere. But what's this? All right. Be still. Everything possible will be done to find your wife. Do as I instruct you and we may yet save her. Save her? Go to the room you had last night. I will join you there in a minute. What the hell do you mean by... It is vital to do as I say, if you are ever to see your wife again. Under no circumstances are you to tell anyone of this. Under no circumstances. And you are not to touch that woman there. But I, I... I have sufficient evidence concerning the way you run this rest house, not only to deprive you of your license, but to bring about your immediate arrest. Nothing wrong goes on here. I run a clean house. I do. No couple comes here that are not married. Not ever they do. Piffle. Helsing, tell me what you know about Veronica. Now, where is she? Tell me as much as you remember about the crash. Where exactly did it happen? On the road below the village, on the other side. I remember a truck was coming towards us. Then the wheels started pulling me to the left and... Toward the lake? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I couldn't control it. We went straight off the road. Then I hit the brakes, but we only went faster. Then we went straight into the lake, and I must have hit my head against the dashboard. What is the last thing you remember? Somehow I got out of the car. There was a man standing there. Anything else? Anything unusual? I think there was... Now I remember. There was a sort of wooden thing beside it, like an enormous seesaw but I only saw it for a fraction of a second. Uh-huh. Now, it may be difficult, but you've got to trust me completely. Don't ask me any questions now. You understand that? Come with me. To the police? No, not to the police. In the country? Why are we driving in the country? The lake is just below. There's someone there who can help us. Yes, many people. Generations. Well, where are we now? My home. Since the government dispossessed me of my castle.
Please, trust me. Just a moment and we'll have some light. Ah, there we are. Please make yourself comfortable. These are very old and quite rare. I'm sure they'd be worth a great deal if I were of mercenary disposition. Put it on. Not quite foolproof, of course, but enough to put the old girl off for a moment, hmm? And that moment may mean just the difference between success and failure. The death of Badella the witch. Her imprecation to her tormentors. Take me back. Patience, patience. I said, take me back. No, really, my dear young man, you must pull yourself together. I know precisely what you're going through, but if we're to have any chance... You're mad. Talking... Take me back, I'm warning you. Please, be patient. I haven't time for your nonsense. Not one minute. Not one second. Precisely. Now! You may strike me if you wish. I'm in the process of saving your lovely wife, whom I cherish as I would a daughter. And beyond that, my responsibility encompasses every human being in Bowerbrush. Their peril is every bit as great as hers. Now, settle yourself and listen to this. In an ecstasy of vengeful zeal, the goodly folk did impel the creature to the lake of mist, and in the hour of six did place her upon the seat of chastisement. And they heeded not her imprecations, nor her foul prophetic utterance, I will be back. Though her tormentors rest in terror. In such cases, it has been the experience of your author that the powers of evil shall make manifestation of themselves using for a fusing agent the person the and spirit of an innocent. The hour of reincarnation is Give me thus the key. presented by the appearance of the emissary of Satan in form as one dead. The undoubted and terrible savagery of the final waking hour can be avoided by a sole expedient. Forstallment of resurrection, hard followed upon by exorcism, such as we nextly will exemplify. Withhold. Withhold. Then, when the dreadful hour has closed upon its circle of circling time, hold back no more, but strike! Philip? Philip!
creature from the very depths of evil return to hideous mortality. Return, thou creature from the very depths of evil. Return to hideous mortality. Gropa, I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour. <laughs> it's a very welcome disturbance indeed. Uh, I was passing you in on my way home when I heard something. Which proves you are not there. <laughs> you so much fun at me. It was horrible. Like a laugh, only horrible. I was scared. So you thought you'd look up your uncle Ladislav for a little comfort, eh? <laughs> I was scared. I'm sorry, I'll go. Oh, no, no, stay, stay right here. Come in, sit down, I'll, I'll get you a drink.
Well, what are we doing here? Who could have been run over by a bus. That's ridiculous. Of course. The damn fool hit me with a bottle. Why? I asked to use his telephone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did it. She's escaped. What are you talking Madera, about? Madeira, quickly. There isn't any time to lose. Uh, uh, we must get to the car. Wait a minute. Are we going to the police? What? Yes, of course, of course. Returned. Unfortunately, she has chosen your wife's spirit to possess. I see. Today is the 200th anniversary of her death. She swore vengeance on this village before she died. The descendants of all who were party to it are already marked as her victims. Can't the police put a stop to it? No. The only way the police could stop her would be by shooting her down. And the only way we can reunite you with your wife is to keep Fadella alive until we're able to achieve complete exorcism. I know you don't believe me, but I only fear we may soon be seeing proof of everything I've told you. Oh, of course I believe you. Stop the car!
Gentlemen, have you all placed your bets? Right, let's start the fight. Here we go. Okay. There it happens. Now. of how many of the old descendants? 28 adults. I haven't checked the children for over two years, but there are many, many. Well, I'll take the streets on this side of the square. Good. If you see her, call me. Hurry. that case. Won't you tell his parents what happened? I don't think so. If we do strike him, they'll find out where he's been at this time of night. I suppose so. And what are we going to do about that? The shot I gave her ought to keep her under for a while. Quadruple dose. And when she wakes up, then what? Don't worry about that. I know just the place for her. Positive this one killer. No. She's used to the cold. Where is that cracked idiot? Dead, I suppose. You suppose? Yes, he was one of those marked for her vengeance. Yesterday I would have laughed outright at that statement, but now. I know. Well, let's go to my cave and pick up the chains and other things we'll need in the morning. But isn't today the anniversary? Yes, at six this evening. We have just got time to do the final preparations, if all goes smoothly. I see. Well, at least the old crone can't get to the others now. Assuming she hasn't already. Another one? Oh. The night patrol found it in the chapel. The innkeeper. Is he able to talk? No, he's already dead. And he's obstructing justice. Oh. Well? And what's troubling you? For running over a chicken, you won't get more than two years. The hag? What hag? What do you know? 
Calm yourself, Phyllis. There's nothing we can do at this moment. Nothing we can do? My wife is where? In some kind of non-world. Oh, where is she? It's best we don't go into that. Now, look here. These are the chains with which Fadella was bound. This is the thorned cross. Oh, shut up. I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand waiting in this place. Don't you understand? Yes, of course I do. Very well, we'll take these back to the inn and sit watch by Badella until her time is near. You make it sound as though she's about to give birth. Indeed she is. To Veronica. put her there myself. The door was locked. Search everywhere. I suppose you have a satisfactory explanation for your involvement in this. I found a groper found her body in the lake. I helped to carry them it here. Why? Because he asked me to. Why didn't you bring it to the police station? Hmm? Groper said that he would report it. Did this woman talk? But she was dead. Then if she was dead, how is it that she attacked dear groper? Hmm? I don't know. Do you think she's the witch of the lake? That is a superstitious and subversive remark, my friend. I shall make a note. Yeah. <gasps> Revolting. And dead. Take her to the car. Why did you kill her? But I... I didn't kill her. Out of the way. Get that filthy thing autopsy and buried as quickly as possible. <clears throat> and as for you, my man, it's handcuffs for you from now on. What do you think they wanted? I don't know yet. Gone. They've taken her. They'll kill her. But when they assume she's already dead? She's a found body. They'll perform an autopsy and that will kill her. We're ruined by work. Damn your work. Now where will they take her? To the clinic at the station. Let's go, then. You're mad. They'll throw us in jail. They'll put us in prison for 50 years. I'm a British subject, for God's sake. Oh. <laughs> put the dead woman in with the other bodies in the cell block. Yes, Comrade Lieutenant. Inside you. like the bottom of a swamp. Go get a stretcher. Just a moment, sir. But I believe you have uh, my mother there. Impossible. Just let me see, please. Yes, that's her, poor dear. Oh. Into the wagon! Oh, 
somebody stolen our car. Up, up, you dogs. Into that, after them. I'll buy you a jack. No use, I'm finished here. Well, haven't you got a passport? Only valid for countries like Czechoslovakia and Bulgaria. Well, we have Czech tourist visas. You can come with us. Now, hang on. Thank you. 
Keep crowding at the tire. No, no, I, I, I just remembered. We've left all the instruments of exorcism in my car. We're lost without them. What? You must get them back. You must stop. Well, how can I? They'll catch us. Not if you do as I say. Pull up over there. Oh, it may be a trap. Take the gun. I'm not up to this sort of thing. I'm not exactly keen on killing in cold blood myself. But if it's to get Veronica back... Now be very careful, men. No mock heroics. to lose. Quickly, we must get into the lake. But can we still make it? Yes, I think so. What time is it? 5.48. Hi, then. the chair. I'll deal with her. A hurry! One small change in the ritual. Well, make it! If we use the spike, you'll never see your wife alive again. It's almost time! Make it for God's sake! What's up? 
Where is she? Where's Veronica? She should. She must have come out of the chair. Come on, you blithering fool. Look, the light. I can't believe that we're finally in Czechoslovakia. Well, there may be a bit of trouble getting you over the next border. Oh, I'm sure you'll think of something. Yes, I suppose so. Well, where would you like us to drop you off? Uh, in England, if you wouldn't mind. There's not much in the way of exorcism there, I'm afraid. No, I suppose not. I do feel rather guilty about leaving Bowbresh. You see, there's no knowing what sort of devilry may turn up that I ought to be on hand to contend with. Now, you forget, Barbrash. In fact, I'm going to work very hard to do just that. Oh, darling, didn't you like it? Barbrash is the most unspeakable, inhospitable, uncomfortable place on God's earth. Quite right. But I'll be back. What did you say, darling? I said... I'll be back. 